So we are here today with Nikon and Mick Rock. I've been assisting Mick for about 13 years now, and we're trying out the new DF digital camera here, seeing how it works in Mick's hands. Just sort of revisiting some of Mick's old images and getting inspiration from them, but also trying to do it in a new way. You've been feeding off the old images to produce something that is clearly a reflection that lives in its own right in the present, you know. To familiarise, to get comfortable, to have some fun, to get off. I had been shooting her for several hours, and then I wanted to change gear. And she got there today. Full praise to her. Re recreating Debbie Harry, I mean, that's a tough one. I'm like trying to just find myself, but still kind of like pull or draw from her appeal, you know, which was just like very bold and very sexy and just confident. What Debbie and I always loved about it was the fact she was clothed in black. It was actually the first time I shot her, so I was, you know, controlled delirium. The queen image is crazy. Just, just even thinking like, wow, I'm shooting something similar with the photographer that came up with this concept to begin with. When we shot the outside, which was what they later adapted for Bohemian Rhapsody, at first the band weren't sure which shot should be on the cover. They were a bit scared of that one because they hadn't had the hit yet. It's been great for me because it's not pretentious, it's not technical, it's just about capturing the image. We live in a world where everybody shoots now, but not everybody captures the moment, you know? For me, it's like giving a virtuoso performance, you know? I mean, I get my kicks at a photo session, sometimes more than others. But today, I definitely got up there. <laughs> 